Hi, I'm Deb Wiltshire and I'm the Data Access Services Manager at the UK Data Service. It's my job to oversee the teams responsible for data access and use. A key part of our service is to run an online help desk by which people can contact us with any questions they might have. We have around 23,000 students and researchers registered with us and we have over 8,000 data sets. So as you can imagine, we get a lot of data related queries and keeping up with the volume of those can be an issue for us. But before I talk about the challenges, I'd like to introduce you to the wonderful teams we have. So the access team have a lot of experience in applying for data access and data governance issues. And their job is to support researchers when they're applying for the data sources. And they also play a key role in triaging all of the queries that we get from researchers. The user support and training team are responsible for tackling a number of different aspects of data usage, including dealing with some of the more complex data related queries. So let's get stuck into talking about the challenges. So the first aspect of this challenge is around the data skills. So we have some advanced data skills within the teams, but only in a few members of them. So not everybody in the team has data skills. So the amount of involvement they can have in tackling these data related queries can be fairly minimal. For those that do come from a research background and have more advanced data skills, because they're not actively carrying on their research, their skills do tend to get a little bit rusty over time. And as new statistical and programming software comes out, we really don't have those skills within the team. Now, the good news is that there's a real interest and drive within the team to upskill. They're all really keen to develop their own skills further. The bad news really is that we simply don't have enough hours in the day. So taking regular time out each week to train can be a real challenge. Following on from that, we also have a bit of an issue around recruitment. So for the user support and training team, we tend to recruit from active researchers, but the job itself doesn't include an active research component. So we can find it difficult to recruit for these posts. And we can also find staff retention difficult. It takes time and effort to fully train up someone for the user support and training team so at best we get one to two years service out of each appointment, which is not really a sustainable model long term. So challenge number two. So although we do have some really good quantitative and qualitative research skills in the user support and training team, we don't actually have um, a service of offering research support. And that's a bit of a shame really, because a lot of the queries we get are research related, whether that's a student needing advice on weighting their data or a researcher wanting advice on their data cleaning strategies. We treat these type of queries as being outside our remit and we usually advise them to contact their supervisor for guidance. However, we know from experience that very often they don't have access to supervisors that have the skills to help them. After all, that's why they come to us in the first place. We also from time to time get requests for ready-made statistics from organizations such as small charities who may not have the skills within their teams to produce them themselves. So there seems to be a need for research or statistical consultancy services. So here's a question, can we utilize student labor to help us tackle these challenges? Well, the short answer is yes, but there is a but. And that but is, in our current model, this simply doesn't work very well. 
So at the university where we're based, we have a scheme called Front Runners. And this allows university departments to host a number of short-term student placements. Placements can run for around 12 weeks. Now we've had a number of these front runners in the past and they have been absolutely fantastic. And they bring with them such a fresh set of ideas and skills that we've really benefited from. For example, the other year, we had a student from the School of Co Computer Science who worked on a project with us around VR data visualization. And it was great to see what he was able to produce in such a short space of time. So he developed this amazing program which enabled us to put on VR headsets and walk through a data set. So we could move the data around just by moving our hands. But the boundaries of the scheme really places limits on what we can achieve with student labor. So the placements only last for 12 weeks, they can only be part-time, and they have to be focused on a specific project. So we can't ask researchers to get involved with day-to-day -day tasks, which to be honest, is really where we need the help. So would a data squad model offer a solution? Absolutely yes. I don't think there's any doubt in my mind that this could be a really valuable addition. From my point of view, I think the service would benefit enormously. It would allow us to be more responsive in how we manage our workloads because we'd be able to adjust the level of staffing within the teams much more quickly and easily. We know that demand for our services fluctuates across the year and we get real peaks and troughs in demand. But sometimes we might not always be able to justify recruiting a full-time salaried member of staff. If we know we're going to go into a busy period, such as um, we get a sharp increase in data queries as undergraduate dissertation deadlines approach, it would be much quicker for us to bring in additional student support than to recruit salaried staff. Being able to quickly bring in additional resource would really help us to just manage these workflows much better. Another benefit is that it would free up time for our permanent team members to do their own training and development. And this is something that we really want to be achieving. It would also allow us to consider extending the service we offer to better meet the demand of the students and the researchers that get in touch with us. And a final benefit is that students training right now are developing skills and receiving training on the latest techniques and software. So bringing in current students would help to bring in current skills and new skills to the team. But it's not just the service who would benefit. The students would also benefit enormously too. So the students would receive on the job training and will gain valuable work experience, which will enhance their CV and improve their job prospects. At the end of the day, you can learn the theory of data and research skills, but real life teaches us the things that books simply cannot, like the messiness of real life data and how long it really takes to do your data cleaning. Students would also get experience in different parts of the data life cycle, such as data curation, data management, data access and governance, all of the parts of the life cycle that really don't very often get taught. So in effect, we would be training up the next generation of data professionals. And this must be a priority for our sector. Many colleagues and contacts across different data organisations in the UK are also struggling to recruit, especially candidates for controlled data professionals, because the pool of candidates with the skills in all of these areas is actually fairly small. And one thing that I've always said to my students throughout the time of teaching 
data skills and quantitative research methods is there are a lot of excellent careers to be had in the data world. So we just need to be getting that message out. So what would Data Squad UK look like? So this is a very simplistic model and I don't think it needs to be complicated. So we would start with a Data Squad lead who would be responsible for overseeing the students and ensuring everything runs smoothly and to do quality control, all those sort of things. And then we would have our data squad crew. And this would be students from across different disciplines. And they would have their responsibility for triaging data queries, responding to queries on data content, data cleaning and so on but also potentially providing research consultancy and statistical consultancy. So where are we with this right now? Now, for me, I think this is a really big change in the UK and potentially one of the biggest changes, certainly at the archive that we would have seen, but it's really exciting for me. So this has been a process of slowly drip feeding the idea through to senior management. So far, nobody has recoiled in horror, and dare I say it, there's been a few signs of enthusiasm, and frankly, that's all the encouragement I need. So now we're at the stage where I'm thinking of putting together a proposal to put this forward to senior management. So watch this space. So that's my advocation for a data squad model in the UK. If you have any questions, please do feel free to get in contact with me.